Now, does this sound like a bad guitar to you? No, I don't think so. This is a Harley Benton SC450 Plus. This is the old model. The newer model looks like this. And why do I want to talk about this guitar specific today is because I answered a lot of questions about a different video from a different from a different YouTuber and I will name him it's uh, Tony McKenzie um, where he got this guitar the newer model and uh, talks all the time about money and it's not a Gibson and blah 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 and in the end, and that's the main thing why I want to talk about it, it's the main thing for me, he destroyed the guitar. Instead of giving it to someone who really needs it maybe to start playing or something, to make something good out of it, he destroyed the guitar and that's lost. That's what makes me lose or lost all respect for him, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I'm. I normally don't uh, look reviews of other YouTubers at all, because I don't want them to influence my reviews. But uh, after 30 people wrote me messages, Corey, did you see that video? I don't know if I should buy the SC450 Plus. I want to buy it, but because of this video, I'm not sure. I don't want to go into detail so much, but uh, yeah, please don't get distracted, confused by him or videos like this. This is bullshit, absolutely bullshit. I mean, you have to see it like this. He got all this custom shop guitars and he just got too much money on his, on his hands and he buys all this custom shop guitars and Gibsons and then he, he stands there with his pencil do I got a pencil here and he always oh I paid I paid 5000 euro for this pickups and I paid like 250 million pick, uh, dollar for this pickups and bullshit um, so he talks all the time just about money and uh, on the Harley Benton like this, he's a, oh, this is this is not a Gibson. This is not like a Gibson. This is not now. Of course, it's not like a Gibson. The newer ones doesn't look like Gibson, and it's good that they doesn't look like Gibson. The design is better. Okay, they developed a better design than the original Gibsons. So what the hell? You stay with your 1959 Gibson, whatever. And I will take this and if I if I'm not satisfied with my with the pickups in it um, Then I change them out But don't you come there with your custom shops Gibsons and then compare these guitars I mean this is what 222 euro or something and you with your $4,000 uh, Gibson and say oh, it's not the same of course not man and what I don't get really is people that are already got a Harley Benton and are very satisfied and then they see this video and start to get confused by it oh Kari I wanted to buy the SC450 but now after this video I'm not sure if I should do it that, that's honestly I don't I don't get it why, why because of this little man now or what that's bullshit Absolutely bullshit. 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 Absolutely bullshit. What do you want? We got a mahogany guitar with a maple cap. This is of course a veneer, but that doesn't influence the sound. Or what? Uh, the Wilkinson pickups, of course, if you want to keep the price low, you cannot get bare knuckle pickups or, or something like this. But the Wilkinsons are a good choice for this price. The electronics, they work. What else do you want for 200 euros? I never had problems with it. And this is absolutely stock. There's nothing in it. I made this Gary Moore cover and it sounds really nice. And I had Gibson guitars, I had Dean Custom Shop guitars, I had PRS guitars, uh, the American ones. And I hate saying that because it's always s snobbery. I sound like a snob. So I had these guitars that cost a lot of money. 
Yeah, but I mean, where was I? Yeah, we got mahogany, maple, maple cap, like I said, maple veneer, electronics work, the hardware work, it stays in tune, the nut is okay, the tuners, they work, what else do you want? The frets are nice, so on you, now you got this little old man, yeah, with a guitar like this, and it works, and he, of course, he has to sit there and say something like, oh, this is not like a Gibson, and this is not like a Gibson, I mean, it's just 200 euros, it's, it, has to be crap and now that's bullshit i mean if you want to pay four thousand dollar for a piece of mahogany with strings on it and pickups that's your problem okay that's not my problem but if we got here toman harley benton is, is toman you just can get harley benton from toman and they m manage it to get this guitar out of China to them and sell them directly so don't we don't have to pay any distrib distributor I hope that's right <laughs> um, so we just have to pay Toman so we just pay the instrument and maybe they earn I don't know what what will they earn on a guitar like this 15 euro or something that's all. So we pay mainly just the guitar, just what, what we got here. We don't pay the name Gibson, we don't pay for PRS for the name. Um, and it's American made. And I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's racist to say that American, because the guy that worked on this guitar was an American, the guitar has to be better. I mean, this poor Chinese man. Uh, all I can say is that for 222 euros, I think that's the price uh, of them now. 222 euros, this is everything you can ask for. I mean, there are people out there that, that will bash this guitar because the lacquer will be have a little problem here or there, and that's very picky. For 222 euros, I got this guitar out of the box. I could play it, it stayed in tune. I made my one of my first videos directly after I got this guitar and uh, that was yeah nee, my, my first Harley Benton was a telly and then I got this and then that started all of this and like I said I had custom shop guitars I had the PRS I had the Gibson and I still like PRS and I will buy uh, American made PRS in the future especially to compare them okay so I got something here to show you okay that's what that's how a 3000 euro guitar sounds like and this is the 222 euro now sounds the PRS 15 times better I don't think so um, so now if I would put Gibson pickups in this guitar you will have a hard time with your Gibson, I tell you that. If you would, if you would sit here in a room and we would play together, maybe you would feel a little bit bad. But I said it in a different video, I will not bash people that just only play Gibson. I'm just annoyed. And yeah, I'm a little bit angry. But now, if there's someone talking about Tony McKenzie's videos, just link this video, okay? And I think I will stop here, but I had to say it. I hope I didn't forget something. I don't got a script here or something. I just speak out of my mind in German, and then I translate it in English or I try to translate it. Consider that a divorce. It's not a tumor at all. Grant me revenge. <laughs> and so we are now here. Order a Harley Benton for yourself. Try it out. If you are not satisfied, I can understand it. Most of the time you have to make a little adjustments, the string action or maybe um, oil the fretboard. But if you got question about this, you could <coughs> come into my Facebook group for example, the Toman Harley Benton uh, support group. Or you could ask me here. Or you could ask me on Facebook. The links are all in this description and I will help you. And setting up a Harley Benton like this was like 10 minutes okay with everything new strings that was 10, 10 minutes i needed 10 minutes i took the strings off i oiled the fretboard i mean the work was 10 minutes oil the fretboard leave it like this 
Then I gave it a slight polish over the complete fretboard, new strings, and I was done. The setup was already good and I am blah 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 now. I'm talking too much now. Now I want to talk about YouTube in general. And this vlog is really uh, a different kind of vlog I normally do because I uh, want to talk about YouTube rev reviews. And I'm telling you it's not very easy. I'm at my beginning, at the start. I just, I do this seriously for four months now, if I'm not mis mistaken. It started with, with this guitar here, with the Harley Bentons. It's very hard to get stuff. I mean, I paid for all of these guitars. I don't got them for free or something. And what I want to talk about is the more subscribers you got, the more stuff you got for free. Of course, the companies will send you your, the pedals and uh, the guitars, so you show them in the video and your 40,000, 50,000 subscribers will see this. And that's, of course, uh, nice advertising. But I'm here with 700, something over 750 subscribers, which is already nice. But with this number, I try to get stuff and I barely got something. The only ones where I got something was Toman so far. Um, just to review it and then I have to send it back or pay for it. Nothing for free. That's not what... No, <laughs> I'm not that far. I'm not that big on YouTube so far. I hope I will come there. But what I want to talk about today or what annoys me is people saying in YouTube videos, oh, I do this for you, because that's bullshit. I'm doing my reviews for myself, because I like to do this, I like editing, I like this camera stuff, I need better cameras, but yeah, it's money thing, um, and I don't get it for free, but uh, yeah, I like editing, I like doing this, playing in front of this, I wanted to express myself. Uh, I know that I know much about guitars and I needed it to come out. But if a, a YouTuber says to you in the camera, I do it just for you, that's bullshit. Absolutely. If, if you wouldn't get uh, some money from YouTube, they wouldn't do it. Probably. It's easy as that. And most of the bigger YouTubers, they get already money from companies or they get the stuff for free. It's of course easier. The more subscribers you get, it gets, it, it gets easier. So I am just a little light <laughs> on YouTube with my 750 subscribers. For me, it's already a really big thing, but it's really hard. So if you, if you got the question like I had yesterday, Corey, could you please uh, review the Blackstar HT5? I can tell you that I would review everything. If I can get my hands on it, I will review it. But I cannot pay for everything. I cannot buy the Blackstar now um, just to review it. That, that, that wouldn't work. I can barely pay the bills here now because I pay. I bought the amp and the box and the guitars. And it's already like this that I bought some stuff just to review it. Even if it's a 222 euro guitar, I didn't got uh, 200 euro out of YouTube so far. I just got like uh, 70 euro so far. Also since the beginning, I started my YouTube channel and I uploaded some videos. 70 euro so far. Um, yeah. That's yeah, please don't think that YouTubers do this stuff just for you. They are not, um, you know, this good-hearted people that just, I did this, I mean, cutting a video, editing, can take hours. My first serious video, the Harley Benton Extreme 76 video, took me like four days and 15 hours. 15 hours, I think, was, I needed to, I've, I worked the first time with Sony Vegas Pro, and had to learn everything, 
um, just the basics of cutting and editing and you know get the colors right and don't make it too dark or something I always got the problems with the with the brightness um, yeah that was 15 hours and no one paid me for this okay the 70 euros so far is nothing um, and I'm getting better at this and it makes fun cutting in Sony Vegas Pro now and I try always to do a little bit more some effects and transitions you know and then that's the part uh, that makes fun but then I have to render it rendering some videos take like eight hours nine hours ten hours so you let it render overnight and on the next day you upload it and upload some videos take me here like four or five hours sometimes two so in the end you are always like two days involved in uploading getting content like this now and uploading it to YouTube cutting uploading and yeah so please don't think that anyone would do this if they would wouldn't if it wouldn't pay in any kind okay and I'm I'm honest I'm absolutely honest of course I hope that I can in the future get some stuff to review for free and maybe keep it for future videos and so my channel will grow and I don't have to pay uh, you know on top of it um, of course and that's what everybody wants to do so what am I trying to say what is the bottom line today I got no script for this video so it's hard to say the bottom line is make up your own mind don't listen too much to what youtubers said don't listen to me if you don't want to I mean I know a lot about guitars but sometimes I can wrong be wrong too and I am not a douchebag to, to um, talk like I would know everything okay and the point is this positive thing on YouTube you always have to be positive I mean this video here now is already mm, a good YouTuber normally wouldn't do that because um, I could get problems with this I could get now the Tony McKenzie fans for example the subscribers from Tony and Tony McKenzie I mean his channel is much bigger than mine I could get this uh, subscribers now to my channel and all dislike my videos or something and bashing me I mean so it's not clever if you want to make the most money out of YouTube, you wouldn't do that. You will always be positive. I mean, if you got uh, people in your comment sections saying you are shit and stuff, you will maybe write a comment and, okay, that's your opinion, blah, blah, blah. You will always be positive because you don't want the dislikes. You want people to stay as subscribers or still subscribe to your channel you don't want to sound like a douchebag you want to sound like Jesus okay oh I will show you today this guitar and hey and I just do it for you and blah and no it's not like this I will show you this today uh, this guitar today because I like to show you and I want to get views I want to get subscribers, subscribe now and uh, I want to my channel to, to gain, to get bigger, I want to learn something out of it myself. Yeah, that's the whole big thing for today I think. Oh, hard video. I don't know if I should play the guitar now because I got already like 30 minutes here. I will play it now a little bit. And uh, yeah, I say thank you, I say thank you. Mm -hmm.